What's up, y'all? It's your boy Grant back here with another video essay. As you could tell, you could kind of kind of tell the last couple videos I was pretty under the weather, so I'm I'm back good now. Um, so let's get into it. So today I wanted to talk about J Cole and Friday Night Lights, and one of the big things I want to talk about is how it. I don't want to say it changed the standard for mixtapes, but at the same time, it's like for my generation at least. If you think when you hear the three the words mixtape, if you ask my generation, you know, the kids that were in high school or like early college um, or like late middle school, what the defining mixtapes of their generation were or what when you think in the word mixtape, they're going to say probably one of three things. Right. They're probably going to say. Live Love ASAP. They're probably going to say Dream Chasers uh, 2 1 series in general. Or they're probably going to say, and probably the most common answer, Friday, well, one of the more common answers, uh, Friday Night Lights. Uh, so the big thing for me is where I think J. Cole doesn't get enough credit. And I know we talk about like how annoying his fans is and all that shit. But the one thing that people kind of underrate or like that goes on the radar with j cole is how well he markets himself from the beginning to his career to now he has some of the best marketing of honestly i'm gonna say i he has some of the best marketing out of any rapper i've ever seen uh, i'll go ahead and say it. he's the whole basketball theme of his early career has helped him so much. At the top of it all off, um, it's something easy to coin. Uh, it's something that's helped him so much throughout his entire career. Um, you know, the warm up, uh, Friday Night Lights, sideline story, and all that type of stuff. Uh, but that stuff matters, man. Like how you market yourself matters. It's how you market yourself is honestly the the difference between. You becoming that could be the that could be what makes your career, man. Like, there's so many talented rappers out there that we never got to hear because of they're never they don't focus on everything, and that's what part that's that's what part of being an artist is. Like, if you want to make it be like part of it is marketing as a whole you can't just focus on music that's not even just with like that's not even just with music that's with anything like marketing is part of the game so the one big thing i wanted to talk about or the other big thing i want to talk about is he i don't want to say he changed the standard for mistakes for too long but i want to say like Saying like this is such a defining mixtape that defined pretty much the air defined the blog air. I can't say it didn't matter. He he reinforced or showed what is necessary or what the standard is or what or what you need to be going for with these mixtapes. Like for example, like you know you got the. He's got stuff that shows, like, okay, this, if this is my introduction to you, I want to show you all my strong points as a rapper. Like, I want to show you how much, uh, how many check, how many boxes I can check. So, like, with J. Cole, he's kind of like, okay, I'll give you the storytelling. I'll give you the, uh, something for the whip. I'll give you something for, uh... That tug on your heart strings. I tell you on everything in life. For example, like I, I would say this to the end of time. Two Face is J Cole's best song, bro. It's his best song because it is in it encompasses all of uh, all of what encompasses a great rapper in one song. He he made fight or the concept of fight or flight sound he simplified it not even simplified it he put it in song form and made it sound actually cool and 
everybody understood it and the imagery is so vivid and things like that. Like Friday Night Lights is the and also from a production standpoint too. Like J. Cole is probably one of the most famous rappers slash producers of our time as well. And the ironic thing is, is that the blog era was filled like the blog era is filled with these guys too. I'm not saying like rapper rapper producers didn't exist before, but you get what I'm saying. Um what Friday Night Lights did for rap is it yes, it was it I would say it is the standard for mixtapes. For any rapper that is taking rap seriously, it is the standard for like the every I guess the quote unquote everyday rapper, if you wanna say. Like we talk about like I know people talk about like uh who's some of the most influential rappers on the blog, the big blog in the big three, and it's gotta be Fonte. Like it is it's Fonte through and through. Cause like you hear so much of the okay, I'm struggling with being an artist, but also I gotta deal with everyday life and things like that. Like you hear on Cole, you hear so much of Fonte and Cole that uh and you know, ironically enough, both from North Carolina, but uh you hear so much of Fonte and Cole. Like I don't see I don't see if he gets to I don't think he becomes as big of an artist without him. I just don't. But like Friday Night Lights, you got like Two Face, Priest Meditating Murder, um, the autograph, which is probably one of my favorite Cole songs. Um cost me a lot and too deep for the intro like that is a that is a iconic intro through and through like when you hear the word iconic like he was rapping over the uh didn't you know by Eric Badu and then lacing stuff with like pretty much pretty much lacing the beat with very notable very quotable stuff that's what that's one thing about J. Cole is that when people talk about like quotables, I think for a buyer you have to mention that. Even though he does have some bad quotables, like don't get me wrong, but like if that's my introduction to you, that's a great way to start off. And then you know he rapping over uh, the devil in a new dress beat with uh, with Vilmatic, um, and also he's. Also making all his influences pretty much wearing them on his sleeve, but also sounding like his own person, if that makes sense. One thing I'll say about Cole is like in terms of like albums, that's another story. But I've always kind of felt like he didn't like very early that he kind of carved his own sound, you know, like he didn't really to me, at least. He doesn't sound like he's just mimicking somebody. He kind of sounds like you can hear the influence, but like. You, you can hear like, okay, this is J. Cole. Um, hold on, let me get some more of these songs real quick, man. I'm looking at the, I'm looking at the track list. So excuse me. Like you got it. Um, in the morning. Which is the breakout song. Uh, Home for the Holidays, Love Me Not. Like, I would honestly say, like, if Friday nights, so I'll say this. I feel like that whole pre air cold era has to be in the classic conversation, not just Friday Night Lights. Because he is, he is truly the embodiment of. Uh, inspirational story, but that's pretty much I got. For, I got for this episode, man. Y'all gave me some ideas, so I'll probably go through like the legendary mixtapes that uh or that we grew up on. And by we, I mean like kind of the guys that were like the guys and girls that were probably in high school when some of the stuff dropped. Um, appreciate y'all. Love y'all. Be easy.